Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another one of my videos. In today's video, we're going over a Town Hall 11 upgrade priority guide. Now, right when you reach Town Hall 11, good thing is you won't have to upgrade your Dark Elixir storage, your Spell Factory, or your Dark Spell Factory, so we can just lay those off. Now, right when you get to Town Hall 11, the first things that you want to upgrade and do, first of all, upgrade your laboratory. That is your number one priority, number one thing you want to upgrade. And if you're using a, a book of something on anything, it better be on that laboratory because right when you reach that new town hall level all your troops are going to be boosted so if you use a book on your laboratory you're going to have a nice boost on all your troops for a bit of time i think it's four or five days which is awesome you're also going to want to upgrade your clan castle which is going to get another spell slot which is going to be the max amount of spell slots you're allowed to have in the rest of flash clans town hall 14 is coming soon so this may obviously change but as of today that is the maximum amount of spells you are allowed and then you're also going to want to put down your Grand Warden. The Grand Warden is very strong, and when you start attacking with the Grand Warden, you get him leveled up. You're going to be like, how did I not use this troop before? And he's going to be a real game changer. And as soon as you get all that stuff done, you're obviously want to, you know, keep doing laboratory upgrades. You're, wanna, you're going to want to keep upgrading your Grand Warden, obviously, all that stuff. But right after that, all of these things, they're your next priorities. So all your barracks, your queen and king, you guys are going to be, want to grind those out. First of all, upgrade your queen to max level at Town Hall 11, especially if you know how to queen charge. You're going to be set up for so many attacks and you'll be able to dominate the meta. And your king, obviously, also upgrade him, but he's not quite as important. And obviously, you're going to want to upgrade your storages and your dark elixir drill. Your dark elixir drill gives you a lot of dark elixir and who doesn't love free passive income. And then also your army camps, because ultimately that 20 space difference is going to differentiate you between a Town Hall 10 attacker and a Town Hall 11 attacker. And upgrading it is really going to strengthen your attack. Whenever you're in a new Town Hall level in Clash Clans, you're always going to want to do offense before defense right away. Now, only when you finish all of this, only then are you going to go and you're going to put down this new stuff. You're going to put down your cannon. You're going to put down your new archer tower. You're going to put down your new wizard tower and your new expo and your new tornado trap. And you're going to essentially just grind those out because they have very short upgrade time to Town Hall 10 level so that they were equivalent to everything else on the base. And once that is done, you're ready to move on to the strong upgrades. You're ready to move on to the strong upgrades. And obviously you're ready to put down the E artillery, which is really a big game changer. But if you don't feel like you're a very strong attacker, you can hold off on this because this is gonna dramatically increase your war rate. And it's gonna make you attack against harder players and clash clans. So if you don't feel like a very strong attacker, maybe put it off a bit into the next step. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I promise I post a lot of really good attacking tutorials and with my help, I will make you a better Clash of Clans attacker just by you subscribing to my channel. So you're gonna wanna upgrade your Eagle Artillery, your Inferno Towers, your Expos, your Wizard Towers, your Air Defense, and your Teslas. These are the defenses that have the most effect on your gameplay. As you can see at the moment, here's my base and I am upgrading all my Wizard Towers at once. I'm upgrading all five of them and I left one builder just so I can do my walls. So this is in fact the plan I am following. And once you have all of these at a max level, including the Eagle Artillery, right when you can put him down, you want to get him to level two right away. You're ready to move on to these not so important defenses. So, you know, like cannons, archer towers, air sweepers, bomb towers, that kind of thing. And you guys are going to get these to max level. And by that time, your base is going to be pretty much maxed out. But you might be wondering, what about all these traps and collectors and even walls? Well, whenever you, for example, don't have enough loot to upgrade something or you just have a bunch of extra builders, you're going to splurge out that loot onto these very cheap upgrades just to, you know, take up the time and make you progress faster. And exactly the same thing with walls. For example, as you can see on this base, I have five builders working and I have one builder free. That one builder for the next eight days and 18 hours, all the loot that I'm getting is going to be going into my walls. And pretty much the same thing with my collectors and my traps. When I don't have enough loot to upgrade one of these, for example, I'm just going to spend two, three, four million elixir to upgrade these guys because they're all very cheap and they all take a pretty decent amount of time to upgrade. Now, don't worry, guys, I didn't forget about the mortar, but you probably should because the mortar is the most irrelevant defense of Clash of Clans and it has the least effect on your defense. And the mortar should be the last thing you upgrade in your game. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the whole Town Hall 11 upgrade priority guide. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and want more, make sure to subscribe because I upload Clash Clans on every single day at 2 p.m. I upload lots of attack strategies and much more. If you enjoyed this video or got any value from it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment what you want to see next. I also made a video that's a lab upgrade priority guide. Make sure to check that out. I'll link it in the description box down below. Make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.